Right, hello and welcome to this auction for the Sure Shot Fire Pot. Um, normally when I'm out in the woods or camping or on the trail, I will carry um, my normal fire kit, which has got a full-sized steel. It's got then my tin, which contains jute cord, char cloth, some sheets of birch bark under there, and birch polypore fungus. And most of these are for taking an ember um, to a nest of jute and uh, then producing fire, uh, although the birch bark will self ignite. So, all of that with that weighs in at around 150 grams. <clears throat> this weighs in. Well, this particular one weighs 20 grams. They do vary. It depends on the cartridge and the and the brass caps used. Um, it's five centimeters long, about 17 mil across. Um, you know, it's tiny, and I like it because I can use it as a, a secondary tinder kit. Um, I'll store it separately from my main pack. <clears throat> Should anything happen to my pack, then I know I've still got a means of making fire. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open it up and show you what we've done. Inside are three items. There is a small 3.5mm ferrocium steel rod. There's a striker blade made from high speed steel um, hacksaw blade. And there is a tampon and always produces a smile whenever you get these out on a on a on a trip with your mates but it's not just any old tampon the tampon's been injected with um liquid vaseline petroleum jelly which makes it waterproof and makes it able to take a spark really really well and my noisy dog always starts when i'm making a video so we're going to go ahead and open this up I mean, what this is designed to do in small pieces, you can just chop a, a small piece off and it'll, under normal circumstances it will light a fire. If you're in the wet, the one good thing about the Vaseline impregnated cotton is that it is waterproof and it will burn. If you drop this in the water, it's not a problem. I should mention the shotgun shell itself I would class as water resistant. It's not, it's not waterproof. If you submerge it, um, it will um, get some water ingress. But that doesn't matter because everything in there is waterproof. So we're going to go ahead now and uh, open this up and uh, we'll show you what it can do. So simply twist. These are quite useful. They just twist off. and You can even leave the bottom on if you were going to use half of it. Or you could just chop a section off with your knife. Um, for the purposes of this I'm going to use all of it. And I'm uh, just going to use the blade on the steel just to rough it up so that we've got a nice fluffy bit to take us back. The benefit of it coming wrapped and in tampon form is as anyone that uses cotton wool balls knows it's quite messy. Um, this is not messy and what I'm going to do is I'm almost going to just put a wick on the top but leave the main body intact. So we'll take that away to the side and you'll also notice on the striker, I've used a file just to grind off the powder coating that comes on the blades. Anyone who's bought one of these Chinese fire steels off eBay will know that um, to start with, they just don't work because you've got to wait for the, um, the powder coat to come off the blade. And um, also worth mentioning, ferrocium rods when they come, you see this one shining. Uh, they come with a protective coating which is matte black and you need to scrape that off first before you'll start to see sparks so don't worry of the first few strikes um, you don't see anything but all I do is when I get a new one is I just go around and just scrape it down just till it's given a shiny appearance and uh, then we're ready to go so we'll just uh, give that a little bit more fluff so it can take a spark there we go. It normally catches first time, just my technique using a smaller steel. Um, 
and that will burn for a long long time. Uh, another tip, your coffee stirrers from Costa and everywhere else make excellent dry tinder if you do want to carry dry tinder and um, you can then use these to put over that and start a fire. I'm not going to do that, I'm in the kitchen um, <laughs> so it's not advisable. But the, the good thing about this as well, it will burn for a long time so you can also use it in wet conditions to dry out tinder uh, and then you can uh, batten some wood and you'll have um, a means to start a fire in the wet. So I'm sure you'll agree it's a, it's a compact kit. Um, they will be coming available in other forms. I'm currently working on the, the chemical shop pot, which will be a means to start a fire without any fire steel or means or method of making a spark or a flame. Um, that will be along soon, and they will also be available soon to buy empty. Um, they will also be available to buy empty with um, an insert within which will be waterproof um, and food safe so uh, you could carry your salt and pepper or, or whatever in there. When all the gear is inside there is still some room in there I've deliberately tried to not pack it out with extra stuff because everybody likes different things to carry but there'd be room in there to, to put some um, I don't know, alcohol wipes or some jute cord or whatever your preferred tinder method is but at uh, sub one ounce it's uh, it's a great bit of kit and you can see that just keeps burning and burning and burning so it's ideal and when I go out on the trail as a rule all I carry now is one of these shot pots my meth stove and if you'll just wait there one minute a 30ml bottle of meths and um, all of that will nest in my titanium mug um, in a bag if you don't want it contaminated as I've said in other videos uh, and, you know, and you've got a brew kit which <laughs> weighs next to nothing I mean that weighs an ounce that's fe fe featherweight and 30 mil is going to weigh about 30 grams so it's a really compact and lightweight methodology for for going out and uh, keeping it light particularly if you're walking so I don't know how long that's been a light now but it's it's some time and it's still going strong so you can really see you only really need a small amount of that and you can reuse it um, <clears throat> I will chuck in uh, a spare impregnated tampon so that you've got uh, extra capacity. Um, I think that's all there is to say really. It's, uh, it's a super lightweight, interesting little device and uh, I love it. I've actually got a mate who had about six of these off me. He carries them in a bandolier around the outside of his hat. It looks quite cool actually. But anyway, uh, thanks for looking in and... Um, any questions uh, post them up on the listing and um, I'll get back to you thanks bye